Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's December the 20th. If you watched yesterday, thank you. And if you're watching again today, thank you. Like and share. Check out um, some of the projects I've been helping with over at NemosNewsNetwork.com or find Dustin Nemos on Telegram, on Rumble, or on Gab. Um, excellent content over there. I'm helping with some of it. And um, if you're interested in finding out the truth, then that's where you need to be. Breaking the cycle of fake news. Today's reading, the right kind of help. John 12, 32. And I, if I am lifted up, will draw all peoples to myself. Those were the words of Christ, and he was lifted up. Very few of us have understanding of the reason why Christ died. If sympathy is all that human beings need, then the cross of Christ is an absurdity, and there is absolutely no need for it. What the world needs is not a little bit of love, but major surgery. When you find yourself face to face with a person who is spiritually lost, remember yourselves to of Jesus remind yourselves of Jesus Christ on the cross. If that person can get to God in any other way, then the cross of Christ is unnecessary. If you think you are helping lost people with your sympathy and understanding, you're a traitor to Jesus Christ. You must have a right standing relationship with him yourself and pour your life out in helping others in his way, not in a human way that ignores God. The theme of the world's religion today is to serve in a pleasant, non-confrontational -con manner. I've heard so many millennialists, the millennials, say, I just want to help somebody. I just want to help people. I always chuckled to myself when I heard him say that because many times I looked at him and thought, well, go get a job, <laughs> pay some taxes. <laughs> but, yeah. Oswald's right. It's Christ and the cross crucified or nothing. But our only priority must be to present Jesus Christ crucified, to lift him up all the time. See 1 Corinthians 2 2. Every belief that is not firmly rooted in the cross of Christ will lead people astray. If the worker himself believes in Jesus Christ and is trusting in the reality of redemption, he. Redemption is an ongoing act. I got saved, I'm being saved, and I will be saved. His words will be compelling to others. What is extremely important is for the worker's simple relationship with Jesus Christ to be strong and growing. His usefulness to God depends on that and that alone. It's just like uh, Peter when he walked on the water. As long as he kept his eyes on Christ... He was walking on water. The minute he took his eyes off of Christ and looked at the circumstances, he began to sink. Well, today is no different, and our walk with Christ is no different. Um, the fact of the matter is, if we look at Christ and Christ only, then we cannot fail. We just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other and heading in the direction that Christ leads us. If we're always looking to Christ, he'll lead us where he needs us to be. The calling of a New Testament worker is to expose sin and to reveal Jesus Christ as Savior. That's for my friend Dustin Nemos. That's what he does. Consequently, he cannot always be charming and friendly, but must be willing to be stern to accomplish major surgery. We are sent by God to lift up Jesus Christ, not to give wonderfully beautiful speeches. We must be willing to examine others as deeply as God has examined us. 
we must also be sharply intent on sensing those scripture passages that will drive the truth home and then not be afraid to apply them. Well, I hope you gathered something for this today. I know I certainly did. Telling the truth is not easy. It can be difficult. Truth is a person. And our job is to follow that person and introduce him to those along the way. It's not going to be easy. Narrow is the gate, but wide is the path to destruction. When you're going in the opposite direction of everybody else, you're going to bump into shoulders a lot. And I just want to encourage everybody to keep doing the last thing God called you to do. To keep doing it until He calls you to do a new one. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace out.